Hello and welcome to In My Element. In this chemistry topic, we're going to take a look at separating technique. We are going to take a look at two methods that can be used to separate mixtures. Video clip that you've got on this slide here shows you one. Do you know what it's called? Have a think. And as I say, there are two we're going to talk about. And you need to remember that we're talking about mixtures, not compounds. So mixtures are not chemically combined. We're talking about things like salt water. We can separate those because they're a mixture. Uh, muddy water, we can separate those because they're a mixture. Now, two methods of separation. One involves the filter funnel and filter paper and the other involves evaporation. On this image here, there's an evaporating basin. Evaporation doesn't have to just happen in that though. So, filtration, um, you've got the funnel there. It uses, filtration uses the funnel and filter paper. It, the fil filtration, like you can see in that picture there, uses a filter funnel and filter paper. And the aim being that it removes anything that's insoluble. So the insoluble solid particles that haven't dissolved, even the really small ones, will be stopped by the filter paper. So that all, all that will run through is the solution with the soluble solute in. And then you will have evaporation. So the solution remaining will be heated so that the solvent can be evaporated and leave the remaining solute behind. OK, and remember, like we said, this is only for separating mixtures, not compounds. Now, both of these methods can be used to separate rock salt. Rock salt is exactly what it says it is. It's a mixture of rocks and salt. There'll be a bit of sand in there as well. It's quite common, um, but it's really good to show separation with these techniques. So the four images there show you what's got to happen. OK, so first off, you'll get your rock salt and you will grind it. You will use a pestle and a mortar and grind it. You will then uh, mix your ground up rock salt into water and some of that solute will dissolve. OK, so dissolving will take place. And we learned about that in the last lesson. Then you will need to do filtration. So you're going to filter your solution that you've now made um, through filter paper in a filter funnel and you're going to collect the remaining solution in the beaker. So the idea being that it removes the insoluble solids. And then the final um, stage is evaporation. And we're going to heat that solution. The solvent, the water will evaporate off. And what you will be left with in that evaporating basin is salt. So in the stage of filtration, we're removing um, the rocks and the sand. OK, so that what we get in the beaker in this stage here is some murky salt water, which we can then evaporate. And by evaporation, we will then have the pure salt left behind. So we'll go from this mucky rock salt to pure salt. That gives you a good idea of an example of how you can use filtration and evaporation. There are other methods as well, but this one explains it well. And if you're ever asked, you can use this as an explanation.